Today is Friday, November 18th, 2022. The time is 3.26 p.m. My name is Landon Hatch, Marie Galasano Graham Outreach Archivist in the RIT Archives, and today I'm interviewing Jay Riley, RIT student, and we are in the RIT Archives space. Jay is the very talented designer of the Together RIT poster. Together RIT was an inaugural event just held Friday, October 21st, 2022, and we're very excited to have him here with us today. And so, Jay, before we get going, can I just ask for your verbal consent to record this interview? Yes, I give consent. Perfect, thank you. And so, starting off with this, why don't you tell us um, your major, your class year, and sort of what drew you to RIT? Okay, so um, right now I am a senior graphic design student, so I'm a fourth year. Um, I remember actually RIT was one of my first choices because my art teacher in high school, she went to RIT as a photography major. So when I was um, looking at different schools um, senior year, I was talking to her about it and she recommended RIT to me because like it wasn't really a college I would think of for like a art or design program really but she said that like CAD is really good here so I decided to apply for here and end up being like my first acceptance so I, I feel like it was kind of meant to be um, and originally I applied for illustration for my um, freshman year but then after going through it I kind of changed courses a little bit and felt like that graphic design was like a better choice for me. So then I ended up switching for that for sophomore year and I feel like it's a it's a really nice fit for what I'm doing. Yeah. And so you mentioned that your hometown's in Pennsylvania. Can yeah. you just give us the name one more time? Downingtown. Downingtown. Okay. And did you get to visit campus before you came here? Yeah, I remember um I think it was like the spring um, before I started my freshman year, so like around April, I visited here um, for the first time, and like I was really, I was kind of skeptical at first because it was like, since it was was so far away, because like even like along with RIT, I was looking at colleges that were like a little bit closer because like it's just closer to home and stuff. Since this is like such a new experience for like college, but then like after seeing the campus, I felt like it was a nice fit, so that kind of solidified my choice. Okay, and you're a graphic design student. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about graphic design? I like the combination of solving problems while also being able to be creative. Um, like, for example, one project I'm working on now is I'm creating my own brand for a poetry bookstore. So I needed to, for like many weeks in the semester, I had to create my branding for that so I had to create the logo pick out typefaces and colors and stuff and while I could also like be creative in that process I also had to think a lot about my target audience because like a lot of design you're gonna have a target audience that you're trying to grab first so I feel like that's where like the problem solving came in because while like a lot of times I might design for me for um different projects I make in school like, when I graduate, I want to be designing for other people. So, like, balancing that, like, making sure, like, I'm on the right track, but also putting my own spin on things when I can, I think that's the most fun part and, like, the most rewarding part. That's a great answer. Thank you. Yeah, so tell us, so you worked for Together IT. Was that your first experience with on-campus employment? Actually, it happened, like, at the same time as another thing. So... Right now, I work for the um, communication, Marketing Communications Office of Student Affairs um, on campus. So right now, like, I do a lot of different um, design for different events and organizations on campus. And I started working with them during, with a, um, a co-op over the summer that was full-time. And now I'm working with them part-time this semester and then in the spring, too. So around um, the same time I ended up having my interviews with that is when I started like figuring out I'm going to design a poster for um, Together RIT. Because I remember I was drawn to the, the um, event, I think it was like this time last year when I first heard about it. 
And I thought like being a part of something like this would be really would be really interesting experience, especially like if I could put my work out there to represent the event. So um so I would say this kind of just happened in conjunction with like my other first experience. Gotcha. Gotcha. And so okay, so you heard about it in April. And then just to clarify the timeline, so you worked for them over the summer, right? For Together RT? Yes. Yeah, I heard first heard about Together RT around this time last year. Around this time last year. Yeah. Okay. And but then I started creating like the process of the poster mm -hmm. was like around like late spring. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so you heard about the poster through your on campus job and or the post the event and the opportunity to do the poster, correct? Okay. I found actually I found out this like I started the process of making the poster around when I started my campus job. Okay. But I found out about Together RT as an event like around like this time last year, which was before I started my job. Okay. And did you start the poster because you were asked to or just because you were so excited and energized by the event? I like when I was originally um like I originally started the um, decided to join the team because I felt like it could have been a good opportunity for design. So then that's when they told me like a few months in the process that I would be helping create a poster for it. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. And so what, when you decided to join the team, what were those first couple of team meetings like for you? Um, it was a little bit strange because it was like me and a few other students, but it was mostly like faculty that were participating, but, um, because I didn't really know what to expect since it was my first time being, like, in a, um, part of an event like this, um, but it was starting seeing other people's perspectives and stuff and seeing, like, the different role they played in the event and, like, also seeing, like, different reasons that different faculty joined and wanted to participate. I felt like that was really interesting and it kind of made me feel more comfortable in it, um, so yeah, especially feeling like, like um, my different ideas were being heard was really nice too. And so did you have any early interactions with Dr. Taj Smith, the Director of Diversity Education? Yeah, um, I talked to him. We had a, a few meetings throughout last um, school year on Zoom and in person. Like some were in group settings and then we had a couple one-on-one -on -one, um, um, discussions where like Closer to when I was designing the poster, I talked to him about, um, I talked to him over Zoom about when I, um, what kind of ideas I had, and also, like, some just suggestions of, like, things he wanted to be incorporated in the poster, because I made a, a couple different versions, but, like, before, like, finalizing this one, so I got, like, a lot of that was, like, focused on, like, some of his feedback. Yeah, and so let's talk about your design process. So what, a couple of your, like, initial concept sketches, um, what did those look like? I think I have it in my sketchbook. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. Um, so I had two major ideas that I, like two major directions I wanted to focus on. One, was a more illustrative um, and graphic direction, and then another one was a more like typographic um, focus. So one thing I do um, for one of my versions is what something that focused on the like with the typographic version, using the type as graphics themselves to make it like instead of just like together RIT, I could do some, I could play around with the text a little bit more to make it more interesting and have it like fill up the actual poster. Um, and then, so that was for that, and then for the more illustrative version, which is I ended up like going with for the final, I knew I wanted to do something with hands, um, because I, one, I felt like that was a really good way to show diversity, um, having different hands together make in like, some sort of illustrative way I can convey that everybody's being heard and that everybody's contributing, like no matter what their background is. Um, so a couple of things I had were like doing something with hand prints and then doing something with like arms like linked together just to show that like togetherness and solidarity 
um, aspect. And then also, like, um, this is what I ended up going for my final, but for, like, um, raised hands. So, like, again, like, everybody can, like, give their own viewpoint because they're, like, all important because I feel like that's, like, the one of the crucial things I wanted to convey. Um, so, eventually, like, I made two different versions, which is the one that ended up being chosen and also made the more typographic one. Yeah, and the hands feature really prominently in the final design, and it's it's beautifully done. Thank you. Um, and so how did you decide on the color scheme for the poster? Um, so the thing was that is, in my job that I'm working on now, I'm really used to working in the RIT branding. So, like, the specific typeface that we use, and then all the specific colors that we use, like, has to be... Um, a specific orange, a specific blue, purple, green, and stuff like that. It has to be like an exact shade when you're working with it digitally. So I thought incorporating those colors into the poster based on like my knowledge so from working um, for like creating for RIT, um, it would be a good thing to make it consistent with like all the other branding that you see in RIT campus. Um, and also I feel like a lot of those colors do work well together. And I thought... Um, Having those more like bold um, colors would be like a good contrast to the more like neutral tones that I use for like the hands because it represents like different skin colors. So I think having that contrast, I, I feel like they kind of work together well. Yeah, so that's okay. So you've got your concept, you've been doing some interfacing with faculty mm -hmm. um, and getting different feedback. What was that moment for you like when you found out that your poster was selected? It was. It was really nice. Um, I don't know if I was expecting it to be or not because I made two different versions and also another person put in two different versions. But I think just having, I got really excited just knowing that like the an event like this would be represented by something that I created and that they'll be able to see around and they'll just like tell them about the event. So I feel like it was an honor to have it selected. And you kind of alluded to this in your last response, but what was that like for you seeing your poster, you know, on display day of? How did that feel? It felt really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, because I saw that, like, on campus along with some other stuff I made over for my co-op. Um, so just seeing it around campus was just really nice because people see it, can see it all the time and it might make them feel motivated to go. And it just feels like really good that I contributed to that. Yeah. yeah. So transitioning a little bit, Jay, why do you think an event like Together RIT is important for RIT to do? I think um, having everybody's voices feel heard, because I feel like Sometimes when you're a minority in any different aspect, sometimes it might feel like your your experience is overshadowed or considered to be like not as important or like a lot of things don't really consider your perspective. So I feel like a together or an event like Together RIT really could highlight that. Um, it could also could help like educate people who might not be aware of that type of experience. So maybe. Um, having that education is really nice, like no matter what kind of background you're from, just hearing other people's perspectives and um, seeing other people's experiences and just keeping those in mind is, I think, really important. So I think an event like this was good at highlighting that. Yeah. And were you able to attend any of the day of sessions? I wasn't. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to, but I went to an event called Eureka. Um, which was a um, a design volunteer program where we helped design for a nearby company. Um, so that happened to fall on the same day, so unfortunately I couldn't go. Right, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so this next question might not fully apply, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, but what would you like to see represented in future iterations of Together RIT? Um, I think a lot of... I 
think like a mixture of environments that are both like lighthearted and also serious. Um, lighthearted in that like people can. Well, okay, I think kind of going along with that, like showing that idea of togetherness and solidarity in different ways. So like one could be like lighthearted in a sense where people can laugh with each other, people can find common ground with each other, like based on culture and experiences, but also like more serious, a more serious tone in some environments where people may be talking about like bad experiences they went to based on like, for example, based on their race or whatever, and having other people realize that so they're not ignorant to that, those type of things. Um, and just having that thing of just like feeling hurt and being acknowledged and also like telling like how campus could be a more comfortable place like especially like in this context like as a racial minority um so like that this is all ties around with just making sure everybody feels heard and acknowledged all right and i think that's a great segue into the next part of our interview so in story booth fashion i'm going to ask you to respond to one of the prompts that we had pre-identified mm -hmm. for together RIT, and so I'll let you take it away with the prompt you'd like to respond to. So the, the prompt I want to respond to is, as a person of color attending a predominantly white institution, what has your experience been like as the student um, at RIT? Um, I feel like it's been really nice. I grew up in a school district that was not diverse at all. Um, I was one of the few, like, um, black students, so, like, I guess, like, I'm kind of used to, like, being in, in a minority in this, in a type of ex a schooling environment, but I did still meet a lot of people here that I could relate to, like, on a racial level. Um, I did feel like, like, there were a lot of clubs, for example, um, even if I wasn't able to attend them based on my schedule or whatever, it was still really nice to have. Um, so overall, I do feel like, at least in my experience, it's been, it's been really good. Um, I didn't, I haven't had like any like really bad experiences like that because I did, um, I have some stuff come up like, as like in grade school, um, but I feel like that I didn't really con continue into college. I feel like my experience has been good here. And just to follow up, are you a part of any of those clubs that you mentioned? Um, there's a club called BACC. Um, I did go, I think last year, but I couldn't go this year because it was at, it fell at the same time as one of my classes. But um, one club I do try to go to is Queer in Color, which um, is just for like queer people of color. So that's like we have like really nice discussions in, in those in those club meetings. Um, that's another thing, just like feeling heard and having a lot of people to relate to. Um, so yeah, that's been nice. Yeah, and can I ask you? So in you know peer to peer interactions, feeling heard is really important. Mm -hmm. Do you also feel you know seen and heard in the classrooms? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Um, even, like, as somebody that's a little bit more reserved, I do feel like that um, I'm able to speak up, like, whether it be, like, a, like, I feel like I'm not ignored in that, especially, like, if I'm talking in class or whatever, I feel, still feel like I have, like, an equal footing in, like, my opinion and, like, my viewpoint or whatever. Okay, and then... Our final question, and I have to ask because you're such an articulate young person and you're clearly going places, um, what's next for you after RIT? Um, I'm not sure, <laughs> like, especially like as a senior you get asked this all the time. Sorry. Um, no, it's fine. Um, well, like right now, continuing with my 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 job like doing design work for the marketing communications office um if i'm able to continue that like after i graduate that would be great but also especially after this semester i want to start looking at different design companies outside of rit to apply for especially as i start like refining my portfolio 
and as I have like some more experiences to put down, like this for example, or like Eureka, as I said before, and like my um, co-op and job. So still looking um, places, but I still feel like I have a good foundation, especially like for after I graduate. Yeah. All right. Well, is there anything else that we didn't discuss today that you wanted to talk about? Um, no, I, I guess I could just hope that um, Together RIT is successful in the future um, and has a lot of people interested in going because I'm, even though I wasn't able to go, I, it's a really important event to have on this campus. So, yeah. Well, that's a great way to round out our interview. Thank you for your time today, Jen. Thank you. We really appreciate it.